Now, I want to go ahead and announce Atlanta must reflect a kingdom display of glory. I have never said that in other cities. This city is a kingdom city that God has chosen to reflect the glory. From this city, the glory will permeate out and affect an entire nation. There's two other cities God has spoken to me, and I was in both of those cities of the ten this year. One was Philadelphia, and the other was Houston. And we see them chosen to be in the World Series right now. See, you have to watch the signs of how God is moving. Now, most people know my whole background and my family was gambling, so I'm not going to tell you which one's going to win. I, I mean... <laughs> So that's really not what it's about. It's those two cities become the signs along with Atlanta of what we're going to look like in days ahead. Now that becomes very important for all of us. Again, I've never shared this. But God showed me before the baseball season started, and I am glad I record certain things just so I have credibility with my wife. Because, <laughs> you know, she and Peter Wagner, they sort of chart everything I say. <laughs> just, I don't know if, they're, if Peter was trying to find me wrong or what he was doing, but he had this long chart. When I would prophesy something, he would write it down, and he would watch to see if it hit the mark. See, that's pretty good training, you, or scrutiny you have to go through. Pam does the same thing. And I'll try things on sometimes when she gets up. I've, I've had my quiet time, and I'll try things on, and she'll say, you better go have another quiet time. That doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> Because she's an English and a history major, and she says, you're going to have to get a little better in how you say that. Now, now, we are at a moment here. Now, this happened in, let me just get us to that so I can make sure we're all on the same page. See, now, let, let me show you a couple of overheads. This is what this year in this new era is about. See, this era is a war era, so we can't say, when's this war going to end? It is a war era. It's, a, it's an era of conflict. Pay is linked with war. But this year, the war takes a turn, it takes a turn toward divine recovery. That means all you have worn, warred in, in your life, let's say 70 years. How many in here are over 70? 70 years in your bloodline. I cannot believe, Bishop, you are over 70. You look very good. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, all in that bloodline this year, because 70 is like a, a generational dimension, all of that, you have the right to recover this year. All right? And when you look at the word linked with this year, see, the, the word of the era is pay. It means the voice, the wind, the uh, blowing sound of heaven, and your voice bringing forth what needs to be brought forth, just as Jackie was making decrees for us. And 
See, what happens when an era shifts is what uh, you find in Psalms 102. Carolyn even confirmed that for me. She said, my dad told me he's 102 years old. He died when, uh, he, he, is he still with us? Grandmother. Grandmother. Died at 102. And she told me, you never get, uh, the only thing that gets old is your clothes. Therefore, you don't think old. Well, God says the same thing. It's in Psalms 102. He says, I will change the heavens like an old garment. And so, when you start a new era, he's blowing the old out of heaven. See, in other words, we're not wearing the same atmosphere we wore in other generations. We're wearing a new atmosphere now. Because you've prayed enough that something has shifted. And God has responded. And he's blowing that in. Why it creates war is because the powers and principalities and the accuser gets blown down so we face-to-face -face with it. That's what Revelation 12 talks about. All of a sudden, you see your enemies. And your enemies get very prominent in your midst. That's why we don't have a choice but to look at the confusion that is now dwelling all around us. It's everywhere. And with that, what is happening each year in a new era is you're determining the rule, the authority. Who's going to rule? Who's going to rule in divine recovery this year? Is Satan going to keep? That stronghold that Jesus addressed and said, unless you go in and bind the strong man, you can't get back the spoils. Or is God going to have a kingdom people that say, we're taking the spoils back? Yeah. See, that's what this year is about. And it becomes a contending that we're going through, and this year, Gamel in Hebrew is linked with the camel. It was a camel. It's linked with uh, how that camel is going to bring in the supply line, as, as uh, we heard Clay uh, encourage us, and what will the camel be bringing? And how will the supply line open up for us? Each one of us. How will it open up for your children? What will happen? See, all of a sudden, now let's bring it back to Atlanta. What will the supply line coming out of Atlanta look like? And how will it affect all of Georgia? And how, Vanessa, will it affect a nation? See, that's how you have to perceive a moment. And why would God gather? See, church means gather, gathered ones, but it means stratalegeo, gathered ones to gain war strategies. Why would God gather us? Here, on November the 4th, in Atlanta, to impart to us what is necessary for the future of a nation. 